Now, if you want to calculate entropy change, it's a state function. That's a very good thing because it means we don't have to worry about the intervening stuff that's going on. We just want to know where did we end, where did we start. That allows us to set this up the same way that you were setting up things in Chem 2 when you were working with delta H with the enthalpy. Delta S, the entropy, is, does the same thing. You can just go and find out how many products do you have, number of moles of each product, times its entropy value, multiply those together, sum them all up for all the products. Subtract from that the same idea for all of the reactants. And these are all, you know, under standard conditions. That's why we have the degree symbol. This is the type of tables you would find. Standard molar entropy values. So these are all going to be at standard conditions of temperature and pressure. And we have all these different chemicals. They want to know what is the actual delta S value for this. I'm going to say that delta S for this reaction is going to be the sum and it's going to be N of the products times standard entropy for those products minus summation N reactants times entropy of the reactants. Go look it up. I find out I need to do products first. There's one mole of carbon dioxide. So this is the CO2 we're working with first. And I'm going to multiply that by 213.8. Now you'll notice this is in joules per mole Kelvin. So that means the moles are going to cancel. Okay, that's important. That was a product. What's the other product? Well, there's two moles, and this is going to be the water as a liquid. That's very important because if we come look here, we see there's two different entries in the table. So we want to make sure we pick the one that's correct, the liquid here. So it's going to be 69.9. Once again, joules, moles, and Kelvin, and the moles once again get canceled out. There we have the products. We need to subtract the reactants. The methane, 186.2, one mole of it, CH4, and that's 186.2. We have two of these oxygens, so two moles of oxygen, O2 as a gas, 205.0. Make sure we get all our moles canceled out. And then it's time to just hit the calculator. So for the first ones, we're going to get 213.8 plus 139.8. Those are bundled together because those are the products. And we'll subtract the reactants. And for that, we get 186.2 and 410.0. And remember, this is joules and Kelvin, 353.0. 6 minus 596.2, which is going to be a negative 242.6 joule per Kelvin. The entropy has decreased. Well, that's what we expected. We had gas and two more gases, three gases going to one gas and two liquids. So we would expect the entropy to go down. So I'm happy to see this negative sign. It confirms what I thought I would see. 